Hey, Dr. Aziz here, and I want to tell you a little story about confidence. And it's some of my story about confidence, but I think it might be your story too. And here's the story. I remember when I was in, this was in college, and I would go to a party with my roommate named Tim. And as soon as we walked into the room, we both don't know anyone there, within three minutes, it seemed like Tim was in a conversation with two people and then connecting with women and meeting other guys. And within three minutes, I was in the corner, like interacting with no one. Or somehow I'd find, you know, if, if I was there with another friend, I would just glom onto that friend and we'd be in the corner drinking. And I look over at Sam and I think, well, first of all, he's better than me. And second of all, he's got something that I don't have. And it just felt so absolutely true. I was so convinced that was the case. And now I don't believe that at all because there's two words that have changed my life and hopefully they'll change yours today. And these two words are learn confidence. You can learn confidence. And that's something that I didn't know back then in my life, but now I not only know, but I have complete and total certainty that anyone can do. I've seen it happen in enough people, like literally thousands of people, that now I have no doubt that if you're willing to approach it like a skill, you can learn confidence. So check in with yourself right now. Does that feel true to you? When I say that, you can learn confidence, whether it's social confidence, confidence in your dating life, confidence in your career, confidence in public speaking, just general life confidence. When you think about that, like for you, can, can I learn that? Does that feel like a yes to you? Or is there a story in there? Is there some background version in your mind of like, not me, here's why. Yeah, but I'm not this, I'm too short, I'm, you know, I don't have enough hair, I'm too fat, whatever the thing you're pointing at. Like, what is your reason or story as to why you can't? Or I've always been awkward, or I've always been shy. And it doesn't matter. No matter what you've experienced, no matter how bad or traumatic your upbringing, no matter what flaws you think you have, you can learn confidence. And there's just some basic principles that you need to apply and you will build it. In fact, I'm gonna share one or two of those with you right now. And if you wanna go even further, I wanna give you a gift, which is my ebook, Five Steps to Unleash Your Inner Confidence. You'll learn the exact five steps that I use with all my clients and everyone in my events, everyone in my groups learns these five steps. And I want to give them to you for free. So go to my website, socialconfidencecenter.com, and you can click the link below this video to find it, and you can get that ebook for free. And what are some of the tips? Well, here is the first and foremost. One is to challenge that story in your head. That story says, you can't go talk to that person. You can't do that. You're not capable of this. It's going to go so awkwardly if you try to talk to that person. And what you must do is you must be willing to challenge that story, to test out reality and see what actually happens. And then after that, the next thing is you must be willing to do what scares you again and again and again. There's so many more steps I'd love to share with you. Check out that ebook. Until we speak again, may have the courage to be who you are and to know on a deep level that you're awesome.